أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم المميت الله سبحانه وتعالى within the 61st name within the Asma al Husna is being described as the bringer of death al Mumit or the destroyer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created the inanimate world to which all living forms will return. Allah is the one who ordains what shall become lifeless. Allah, the one who creates the appearance of death, physically or spiritually. It has been said that whoever recites the name Al-Mumit, meaning the creator of death, the one who recites this name will prevent will be prevented from the enemy inshaAllah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes himself as Al-Mumit in the Holy Quran where he says, And he it is who grants life and deals death. And to him is due the alternation of night and day. This is in Surah Al-Mu'minun. There is also a Sufi saying where it has been said that everyone is so afraid of death, but the real Sufis just laugh. Nothing tyrannizes their hearts. What strikes the oyster shell? doesn't damage the pearl subhanallah so what they are trying to say here the sufi saying is that they are describing themselves as an as a pearl within an oyster shell their body being the oyster shell and their true iman and their soul being the pearl so what they are saying is that when death strikes the oyster shell i.e., when death strikes the body the real purpose and the real goal in this life is not damaged. The reason they live in this life is to prepare for the hereafter. So when the oyster shell breaks away, when it is struck by death, the pearl, it is time for the pearl to emerge. And it is this pearl, i.e. their soul of goodness and iman, that will emerge and enter them into paradise. So subhanAllah, when whatever strikes the oyster shell does not damage the pearl, subhanAllah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all death in Ramadan al Mubarak and peacefully as well. Ameen. Wa ma'alina ilal balaq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.